Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig, and today we're taking a look at Rollback, a brand new multiplayer system for Game Maker from Opera that is going to allow you to do seamless multiplayer games with their hardware in just a few clicks and a few lines of code. So here it is, up and running. This is a really simple project I just created. I've got two players here. Now it is running on my machine here, but it's actually going to their server and coming back. So this is live multiplayer using their servers, and I'm just testing it locally here on my machine. So what is Rollback? Well, it is a way of creating a game using Opera's servers and using GameMaker's new rollback code and functionality. So in essence, rollback is the idea of creating a server, getting everyone onto the same page, and then rollback handles all of the input that a player can do, syncs that across them, and you have a multiplayer game up and running. So in GameMaker, you define what the player is going to be for everyone. You can define custom input for how they work. Then you attempt to join a game. If you can't, then you can create a game. And currently, you can have up to four players. And then you can launch your game. There's more things that have to be set up like when you get created, you need to check to see which player ID you are and set them in a specific spot in the room, otherwise they start in the top left corner. And you can change their sprite, you can alter gamer tags later on, they're adding a lot of new functionality as this is still kind of in a beta. But essentially, that's it. Then everything you do, you just check with input. So roll back, get input, checks to see when I press left, it does this, and then it sends that out to all of the other players in that server. And so everyone always sees the same thing. So with this project, I have it set to Opera GX. I press F5 and it loads it up. Now you do have to use Opera GX. So it loads this up and I click copy share URL. I load up another instance of it over here, put in that URL, and here we go. I am now synced up, and this player on the left, you can see, has an arrow, so you can draw things just on one player if you want to, such as their names. You can have a mouse that moves around like this, and now you can see they are both working. Now, rollback, the name, is also how the system works. So there are a couple different ways to approach multiplayer, but the way that the rollback system is doing it is that the game is deterministic and it uses predictions to try to eliminate lag that you might experience in a game. So if I'm moving over here and I click left and I move, it predicts that I'm going to continue moving that way or that I'm going to press something that makes a lot of sense similar to that. And it tells the other clients, the other players, hey, you should expect to see this, and this is what's happening, and it's happening instantly in real time because it's actually predicting what is going to occur. Now, if at any time it gets it wrong, so if it thinks I'm gonna go right and then I suddenly go up, well, it rolls back to what really happened, updates all those clients, and everyone is good to go. So there's some drawbacks, but there's also some really cool things there. If the rollback system predicts correctly, you have virtually zero lag. There is no input delay, everyone sees the exact same thing, and it makes for the smoothest multiplayer experience you can imagine. But if it gets it wrong, you're gonna see you jumping back and forth from time to time. Earlier, I was downloading some large files and I was trying to run this, and it was just lagging all over the place because it was trying to predict what was going on, but kept getting it wrong because of those slow speeds. It had to keep pulling me back over and over again. But it does, it does handle that. So that's the rollback system in general. Now what's really, really cool here is you can actually go into GameMaker, and now this is on the beta, so all you have to do is download the GameMaker beta from YoYo Games, and then you can try this out yourself. If we click on Create an Executable, I click OK to stop the project, 
it's going to compile this and it's going to automatically upload this for me, which is super cool. And then when it's finished uploading, it's actually going to put it straight onto GXC. You can go in and edit it, but then you can also just start sharing and playing it immediately, which is the most seamless and quickest multiplayer experience that I can actually imagine out there. It's really, really cool. Now it is limited, it's only on Opera GX. Uh, there's only up to four players right now. There's a lot of things you still can't do, but if you want to just create a game that you can play with your friends anywhere in the world, this is the quickest way to do it. You gotta say that it is multiplayer, select how many, save that, then go to publishing, click private, since I don't really want everyone to play this, and then I can open a private game right here. I click play. I have an account on here and so it puts me in the game. It recognizes me right over here. So there I am. I can copy this URL for someone else to join. I'll do that. Split my screen here. And voila. This is fully online on their servers ready to play with anyone anywhere. Now they've got servers all over the world. Mine is in North America, and so my latency is really good. I can play with anyone here. It works great. They're gonna have servers all over when this finally goes live and is no longer in beta. And really, it's just super exciting. So if you've ever wanted to get into multiplayer, GameMaker is now, I think, the quickest and easiest way to do it. This is going to revolutionize multiplayer in the sense that you'd no longer have to set up your own state, customize your own server, understand how sockets work. You just use what they've set up for you and you've got a game in five to 10 minutes. Really, I created this in just a few moments. I created a Frogger clone that up to four people can play in about an hour. It's not the best game in the world, but it's a multiplayer game published, ready to play, with your friends, ready to go. It's super exciting. Now, you do have to learn some new functions. You have to learn how rollback specifically works. There's a few quirks here and there. And as of right now, July 18th, 2022, there's still a lot of things that they are going to be adding and a lot of features that I think are missing for a fully fleshed out multiplayer game. If you're thinking about publishing it and making it live and actually selling it and making money, there's still a lot that they're working on. But this, I think, is a fantastic start. And I know that I am personally super excited to start making some multiplayer games to play with my friends and my family in a way that is not going to take me two weeks just to understand how to send data back and forth between servers and clients. If you found that useful, leave a like, hit subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching and keep making, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later.